That's not all, Paul said. He preached baptism too, part two. One minute inspirations, Henry Street Church of Christ. For it hath been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by them which are of the house of Chloe, that there are contentions among you. Now this I say, that every one of you saith, I am of Paul, and I of Apollos, and I of Cephas, and I of Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were ye baptized in the name of Paul? I thank God that I baptized none of you, but Crispus and Gaius, lest any should say that I had baptized in mine own name. And I baptized also the household of Stephanus. Besides, I know not whether I baptized any other. For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made of none effect. Those who oppose the biblical teaching that water baptism being necessary for salvation often run to 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 17, where Paul said, For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel. However, in doing so, they are ignoring the context of the chapter and denying that Paul admitted to baptizing himself. The context is that the Corinthian Christians were aligning themselves with their favorite preachers instead of uniting under Christ as the head of all. Paul was saying that he is glad that he did not contribute to the division. He was not trying to make followers for himself. That is why he was glad he did not baptize many of the Corinthian Christians because they would have aligned with Paul as the other Christians were dividing themselves under the ministry of their favorite preachers. Paul also was saying that he did not administer the act of water baptism often himself, but allowed other brethren to perform the baptism after he completed his preaching. This is not unusual. Jesus preached and allowed the disciples to do the actual baptizing. So Paul was doing nothing wrong by allowing others to do the water baptism portion. His focus was preaching salvation in Jesus and letting others do the baptism. However, he did baptize some of them, as you will see in verses 14 and 15. So do not run to 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 17 in an effort to take baptism out of the plan of salvation because further reading in the chapter will show that this is not possible. May God bless and keep you. See you at the final video on this topic soon if the Lord wills. Thanks for listening. This is a ministry of the Henry Street Church of Christ.